Do album sales really mean the album is dope, or is it just the hype from the artists? This is Real Talk Hip Hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. It's the Ten Crack Commandments. Wow. One, two, uh. Two, two, uh. Shadow We TV, what's good? It's your boy Brody, and I'm back for another talk about hip hop. Now, I saw Dr. Dre's album sales released today, and it was not as high as most people would thought it would be. His early predictions was assumed to be around 500,000 to 600,000, but actually it came out to be around 260,000. Now, even though 260,000 is an amazing number in today's figures, that's not including his streaming numbers, which totaled out to be around 295,000. Now, December 3rd, 2013, Billboard magazine officially changed how it's going to calculate streams. 1,500 single streams is equivalent to one album. So they officially changed how they're going to calculate all album sales regardless if it's just one single or if it's the entire album before. Now with this being Dr. Dre's most recent album released in the past 16 years, I still personally think this is a huge success for him. But a lot of people are still confused on the fact that high numbers in the first week mean that it's a successful album and low numbers mean it's a garbage album. What I think the misconception is in today's society is that albums are really hyped up and the first week sales are gonna mean that it's a dope album, it's amazing, everybody should get it. When in fact, all that's been done is that the artist has been pushed behind it to make people wanna get it. That does not mean that the album is dope. It has to have great production, lyrics, even concept to it. And that's across the board for any industry, whether it's R&B, hip hop, country, rock. It has to have some type of content for people to actually go out and buy it. And that's what one of my major points is, is that people really confuse the fact that an album is gonna be really, really good, just because it has high numbers, when in fact, it may actually be garbage. Now, my personal opinion on this, I feel like you have to give an album a few weeks to listen to to actually develop some type of opinion if it's gonna be an amazing or a classic like everybody likes to throw around. Now, we do have artists who nine times out of 10 can release an album and the sales will convert to an album being just as good as the numbers. Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, Beyonce, these artists can drop an album and everybody will go get it. And majority of the time, the albums are strong. In today's society, we have an extremely short attention span. So if you can't contain us for at least a year for this album, then you should never even drop it. I say all that to tell you, numbers do not matter. We're not the industry, we're not the people that are making money off the sales. So don't focus so much on how much the first week sales are for your favorite artists. Focus on the content that they're giving you and how long you actually love this album and play it back time and time again. Because for me, I'm not listening to music that's just supposed to be on the Vine video and here today and going tomorrow. I need something that I'm going to bump right now, listen to next month and next year, and still get the same love and enjoy, and also hear new things I never heard. So make sure y'all keep that in mind next time y'all see your favorite artist's numbers drop. Make sure the album consistently matches how much you feel for the artist and not how much they sell. Now I'm not saying you're not going to fall in love with an album as soon as you hear it and all the songs just touch your soul and you just, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. That's how I felt about J. Cole's last album. But you still have to give yourself time to actually digest it and see if it's really what you thought it was, not that initial punch. Now down in the comments, I need y'all to tell me if I'm right or wrong. Do the artist sales really mean that the album is dope? Or do you think I'm right and that you should take a listen to the album before you even care about what their numbers are? Because in my opinion, we gotta really make sure that we promote albums that's dope and not just something that sell really good. So make sure y'all share, comment again, like, and subscribe. And y'all check out my next video on Shot of TV. I'm out. First we say I love you, then we talk in marriage. Let's get married. Leave our parents' house, but you ain't have the courage. Let's go. We were stupid in love, inseparable. In my eyes, you were incredible, irreplaceable.